Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you the basics of how to draw paths using the new Curvature Pen Tool in Photoshop CC 2018. And we'll learn how to turn our paths into shape layers, vector masks, and selections. To follow along, you'll need Photoshop CC, and you'll want to make sure that your copy is up to date. Let's get started. The Curvature Pen Tool is a simplified version of Photoshop's standard pen tool. It lets us draw shapes and paths just by clicking to add points. Photoshop connects the points using curved or straight lines, and we can easily switch between the two as needed. But rather than me just showing you how the Curvature Pen Tool works, let's set things up so you can easily follow along with me. We'll start by creating a new document. Click the Create New button on the Start screen or go up to the File menu in the menu bar and choose New. Either way opens the New Document dialog box. In the Preset Details panel, set both the width and the height of the new document to 1000 pixels. Set the resolution to 72 pixels per inch and make sure that background contents is set to white. Click the Create button to create your new document. Let's add some guides to make it easy for us to draw the same shapes. Go up to the View menu in the menu bar and choose New Guide Layout. In the New Guide Layout dialog box, set the number of columns to 6 and the number of rows also to 6. Make sure the gutter value for both the columns and rows is either empty or set to 0. If you have any pre-existing guides that you need to remove, select Clear Existing Guides at the bottom. Then click OK to close the dialog box. And here we see our guides. I'm going to quickly change the color of my guides just to make them easier to see in the video. We can change the guide color from the Photoshop Preferences. On a Windows PC, I'll go up to the Edit menu. On a Mac, I'd go up to the Photoshop CC menu. Then I'll choose Preferences, and then Guides, Grid, and Slices. In the Preferences dialog box, I'll click on the existing guide color at the top, which by default is Cyan, and I'll choose Custom to open the color picker. But rather than choosing a color from the color picker, I'll move my mouse cursor over the dark gray pasteboard area surrounding the document, and I'll click to sample the color. I'll click OK to close the color picker, and then I'll click OK to close the Preferences dialog box. This sets my guides to the same color as the pasteboard, making them easy to see in the document and hiding them from view everywhere else. Finally, to make the document as large as possible on the screen, I'll go back up to the View menu, and I'll choose Fit on Screen. And now that we've set up our document, let's learn how to use the Curvature Pen Tool. By default, the Curvature Pen Tool is nested behind Photoshop's Standard Pen Tool in the toolbar. To get to it, click and hold on the Pen Tools icon, and then choose the Curvature Pen Tool from the Flyout menu. Before you begin drawing, choose whether you want to draw a path or a shape using the Tool Mode option in the Options bar. The default mode is Path, but you can also set it to Shape. I find it's easier to draw a path because paths are easier to see as you're drawing, and you can easily convert your path into a shape when you're done. We'll learn how to do that later. For now, leave the option set to Path. To begin drawing either a path or a shape, click once inside your document to set a starting point. I'll click on the spot where the vertical guide in the center and the horizontal guide along the bottom intersect. Notice that a square appears at the spot where you clicked. This is known as an anchor point because it anchors the position of the path within the document. Next, click to add a second point. I'll click where the vertical guide on the left meets the horizontal guide in the center. Notice that even though the tool is named the Curvature Pen Tool, Photoshop draws a straight line. 
known as a path segment between the two points. Well, that's because drawing a curve actually requires three points, one for the start of the curve, one for the end, and one in the middle. The middle point determines the angle or arc of the curve. Without that middle point, all Photoshop can draw is a straight line. If you're having trouble seeing your path outline, Photoshop CC 2018 now lets us change the thickness and the color of the path. Click the gear icon in the options bar to open the path options. Here, we can change the thickness from as small as 0.5 pixels to as large as 3 pixels. I'll set mine to 3 pixels. We can also choose a different color for the path. I'll change mine to magenta. Keep in mind that these options are here just to make the path easier to see as you're working. They have no effect on the actual appearance of the path in your document. To close the path options, click again on the gear icon. Well, so far in our document, we've added two points, and Photoshop has connected them with a straight line. Let's see what happens when we add a third point. I'll click where the top horizontal guide and the center vertical guide intersect. As soon as you click to add the third point, the straight line becomes a curve. Photoshop is now using that second point in the middle to set the angle of the curve. Well, let's continue drawing our path by adding a fourth point. I'll click where the vertical guide along the right meets the horizontal guide in the center. This adds a new path segment between the third and fourth points and extends the curve. To close your path, click again on your original starting point. Photoshop adds another curved path segment, and we've now drawn a complete circle just by clicking to add points. Well, now that we've drawn our path, let's learn how to reshape it. There's a few ways to do that. One is by clicking on an existing anchor point with the Curvature Pen tool and then dragging the point to a new location. We can also add more anchor points by clicking anywhere along the path outline. I'll click along the upper left of the path to add a new point. Then, to reshape the path, I'll drag the point into the upper left corner. I'll also add a new point at the top, and then I'll drag the new point downward. Well, so far, all of the anchor points we've added with the Curvature Pen tool have been curve points, meaning that the path curves as it passes through the point. Another way to change the shape of a path is by converting a curve point into a corner point. To switch from a curve point to a corner point, double-click on an existing curve point. And now we see that instead of a smooth curve, the path abruptly changes direction at that point. To switch from a corner point to a curve point, again just double-click on the point. To delete an anchor point, click on it with the Curvature Pen tool to select it and then press your Backspace key on a Windows PC or your Delete key on a Mac. You can also delete an entire path. Let's delete our path so we can start over. To delete the path on a Windows PC, right-click inside your document. On a Mac, Control-click. Then choose Delete Path from the menu. Or just press the Backspace or Delete key when no other anchor points are selected. And now we're back to our empty document. We've learned how to draw curves, so now let's learn how to draw straight path segments using the Curvature Pen tool. We've seen that we can convert a curve point into a corner point by double-clicking on the point. But if you know that you need your next line to be straight, there's no need to draw a curve point first and then convert it. Instead, just double-click to add the new point. By double-clicking rather than single-clicking, Photoshop will automatically add the new point as a corner point. As an example, let's draw a rectangle using the Curvature Pen tool. Begin by clicking to set a starting point. I'll click in the lower left corner. Since we know we want the next point to be a corner point, double-click to add it. I'll double-click two horizontal guides above my starting point. To add the third point, I'll again double-click to add it as a corner point. Notice that because we're adding the points as corner points, Photoshop is connecting them with straight lines. I'll add a fourth corner point and another straight line by double-clicking in the lower right corner. To complete the shape, I'll double-click on the initial starting point, and Photoshop adds the remaining straight segment.
We've drawn our rectangle, but what if, instead of that flat horizontal line at the top, we wanted to add an arch? Well, with the Curvature Pen tool, it's easy. All we need to do is click on that part of the path to add a new point. Then, just drag the new point upward to create the arch. You can double-click on the point to make it a corner point, or double-click again to set it back to a curve. Well, so far, we've learned that we can move a single anchor point by clicking and dragging it with the Curvature Pen tool. But what if we need to move two or more points at once? In that case, we can use Photoshop's Path Selection tool or the Direct Selection tool, both of which are found in the toolbar. I'll choose the Path Selection tool, also known as the Black Arrow tool. If you click either on or inside the path outline with the path selection tool, you'll select the entire path at once. You can then drag the entire path around inside the document. To select individual points rather than the entire path, use the direct selection tool, also known as the white arrow tool. By default, you'll find it nested behind the path selection tool. Click and hold on the path selection tool in the toolbar and then choose the Direct Selection tool from the menu. Well, let's say we want to change the height of our shape, which means we'll need to select the point at the top as well as the points in the top left and right corners. To select all three points at once, I'll click and drag a box around them. Now that all three points are selected, I can click on any of them and drag all three points together. You can also rotate and adjust the control handles for the selected point if you're familiar with using Photoshop's standard pen tool. Well, that's because the pen tool and the curvature pen tool both draw the exact same paths. It's just that the curvature pen tool makes it easier. To switch back to the curvature pen tool, select it again from the toolbar. Then let's delete our path so we can start over one last time. I'll press Backspace on a Windows PC or Delete on a Mac to delete my selected points. And then I'll press Backspace or Delete again to delete the rest of the path. Well, let's take what we've learned about drawing with curve and corner points and quickly draw a path in the shape of a heart. When we're done, we'll finish things off by learning how to turn the path into a shape as well as a vector mask and a selection outline. First, click in the bottom center with the Curvature Pen tool to set the starting point. Then, click in the upper left, where the first vertical guide from the left and the second horizontal guide from the top intersect. This adds our second point, and because we only have two points at the moment, Photoshop connects them with a straight line. To add the third point, click where the top horizontal guide meets the second vertical guide from the left. Since this is our third point, Photoshop converts the straight line into a curve. We need to add our fourth point at the spot where the second horizontal guide from the top meets the vertical guide in the center. But because we need this point to be a corner point, not a curve point, double click to add it. One half of the shape down and one half to go. Click where the top horizontal guide intersects with the second vertical guide from the right. Even though we've added this point as a curve point by single clicking, Photoshop initially draws a straight line, and that's because our previous point was a corner point. To add the next point, click where the first vertical guide from the right meets the second horizontal guide from the top. Photoshop once again converts the line into a curve. Finally, to close the path and complete the heart shape, double click on the bottom starting point to finish things off with a corner point. Well, now that we've drawn our path, let's remove the guides by going up to the View menu, choosing Show, and then choosing Guides to deselect them. Photoshop makes it easy to convert a path drawn with the Curvature Pen tool into a shape, a vector mask, or a selection outline. With the Curvature Pen tool still active, you'll find all three options in the Options bar, next to the word Make. To convert your path into a selection outline, choose Selection. This opens the Make Selection dialog box. Here, you can set some options, like adding some feathering to soften the selection edges. Or you can just click OK, and Photoshop converts the path into a selection outline. I'll undo that so we can look at the other two options by going up to the Edit menu and choosing Undo Selection Change. And this returns me to my path. To create a vector mask from the path, 
choose the mask option. Well, this keeps only the area inside the path visible. Everything outside the path is now hidden. The checkerboard pattern surrounding the path is how Photoshop represents transparency since we have no other layers below it. If we look in the Layers panel, we can see that Photoshop has converted the path into a vector mask because we can now see a vector mask thumbnail. I'll undo the vector mask so we can look at the third option by once again going up to the Edit menu and this time choosing Undo Add Vector Mask. Finally, to convert your path into a shape, choose the Shape option. Photoshop fills the shape with your current foreground color, which in my case is black. If we look again in the Layers panel, we now see a new shape layer named Shape 1. To change the color of your shape, double-click on the Shape Layers thumbnail. Then, choose a new color from the Color Picker. Since we've drawn a heart, I'll choose a shade of red. Click OK to close the Color Picker. Finally, to hide the path outline from around the shape, press Enter on a Windows PC or Return on a Mac. Or just choose a different tool from the toolbar. And there we have it. That's how to draw a path and how to convert your path into a shape, a vector mask, or a selection using the brand new Curvature Pen tool in Photoshop CC 2018. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking it, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from PhotoshopEssentials.com.